This house has a story to tell. This house was once a safe haven to two people, one of whom had streaks of madness. The boundaries of torment and atrocities were barely recognized by the madman, while the other person, supposedly sane, bore it all upon himself until he could no longer stand on his feet. He trembled and his thoughts were often a train of absolute disorientation. Yet, he never had a word out of him against the madman. Was it fear? Was he obligated? Or did the madman cast a wicked spell on the other? The only thing that played the role of a silent spectator was the house. Its walls had observed the monstrosity and had heard all the atrocities. The house on top of an isolated hill knew it all. It knew what had happened inside it. It had heard the gunshots, not once but thrice in a span of two seconds. The walls were stained with blood. The inside of the house reeked of horror and disgust. The madman was lying dead in his own puddle of blood. The house had witnessed the end to what could have been a more brutal drama. The victim was free. The house, like on a silent hill, stood alone.